Ethan on the right. Brian is one of my patients. Um, he developed a bone tumor, the Ewing sarcoma, one with the funny name, in the left fibula, that second bone in your lower leg. And we treated him. He had the fibula removed, got radiation therapy, got a year, a year and a half of chemotherapy. And about two years later, his mom called me and said he had pain in his arm. We thought it had come back, and it turned out that he actually had a different kind of cancer, uh, osteosarcoma, in his upper arm. And we removed that. You can see his shoulder droops a little bit, and there's a lot of metal in here. Um, and uh, we treated him for that with another set of years worth of chemotherapy. And um, uh, his, subsequently, his mother, well, his mother had already been diagnosed with breast cancer, and his sister with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm happy to say they're all doing well today, and I'll tell you a little bit more about him later. But among the things that we were able to do besides give him medicine was take him on trips and provide psychosocial support. You can see in the middle of his treatment, we were out in Colorado uh, riding a horse. So this is part of the psychosocial healing that has to occur uh, for these patients. So uh, one of, a big part of that at Nationwide Children's, we've been able to provide largely with philanthropic support a lot of uh, psychosocial care. We have a music therapist, an art therapist, we have massage therapists. Sometimes they're working at the same time <laughs> in the same room. Uh, we have recreational therapists, we have psychologists, social workers. There's a total within our division alone to take care of our patient population. We have a total of 30 people in our psychosocial program. We have school interventionalists. Uh, Columbus Public School District pays for a teacher to be on site in our hospital. We have a room dedicated with a computer smart board and the, the kids are well enough to come out of the room they can come to that classroom and try to keep up with their work because I can tell you Dublin Jerome is pretty difficult. She has a lot of homework. So, um, so what we like, that, we pride ourselves on this psychosocial program and that's really surrounding the patient with all of these uh, services from, as I mentioned, social work, psychology, etc. <laughs> Costs about over a million dollars a year to provide these services and most of these, other than psychology and, and social work. Most of these we can't bill to insurance. So I can't bill insurance, you know, the, the music therapist is going to come and work with the child and make them feel good about their, their use, use uh, art or music as therapy. So we do rely on philanthropy to help make this work. We are fortunate in this community, as I mentioned, to have a lot of other support. So there's a lot of small foundations and groups and organizations that have cropped up that bring dinners to our kid, uh, families when they're in the ward or have events or raise money, and these are just some of them. So we kind of feel like our patients are surrounded by a lot of help. And so we're very thankful for that. So I like to say that when your child needs a hospital, the hospital says everything matters, every patient matters, and every service, psychosocial service matters. We do take care of patients with serious blood.